We are a technology company that focuses on getting the seed from the ground all the way to the market in an extremely fast pace. Our true focus is not only servicing our farmers and the ecosystem around them, but really leveling the playing field when it comes to technology. In our current global market, we see some real issues when it comes to agriculture. We definitely have a very slim profit margins for the people that matter the most in our society, which are the farmers. They're creating our food, they're putting everything that we have on our table easily available for us every day. What we're gonna see in the next 20 to 40 years is an incredible increased demand in food and a smaller labor force and a smaller ability to produce this food. In developing nations, we have a serious corruption issue. Our farmers are usually undefended. Some are uneducated and a lot of them are unbanked. One of the biggest issues that I've seen in the industry today is that people are reluctant to do business with each other. People are reluctant to do business with people they haven't known and people are reluctant to do business in other countries. Global markets mean being able to sell anywhere in the world without having any kind of friction. While that's not a possibility today, we're getting very close. When there's devastation in a part of the world that needs supply, systems like Grain Chain are able to provide that supply. Here at Grain Chain, we get asked constantly, why blockchain? Why are we getting into technologies uh, such as distributed ledgers, blockchain? Uh, what's the purpose? The reality is I don't see us being able to accomplish what we want to do without it. When we want to create a smart contract between two parties and auto execute this contract, the only way I see it being done is with a distributed ledger. When two parties enter into an agreement and that agreement is distributed cryptographically to a thousand different parties, then when that contract is recalled and executed, we know that it is the original contract that was written. The reality is we have an opportunity here to help everyone in the industry. So I think what we have to see is what the technology is doing today. When a farmer has to move his crop, he's able to open up applications in our system that run logistics, and they're able to truly see and analyze what needs to get done. When a truck driver opens his app and he sees that a load has to be picked up, he's able to open and verify on the map exactly where they need to go. So when the truck goes to its first location, our geofencing allows the application in our system to know that the truck has arrived to be able to pick up the individual commodity. When it hits the scale, our system notifies the scale room that the person is there and the truck driver confirms it. Once that's been confirmed, the data is automatically transferred over from the truck information to the truck driver, to what he's loading and where he's going into the system. Our systems track them when they go to the bins, when they drop off and then when they come back. As they come back, they're able to tell the scale that they're back, they're empty or they're loaded and what the weight is. Our systems automatically communicate with each other. So the trucker, automatically knows when he's ready to go. When the trucker goes ahead and gets back in his truck, our system monitors their status. So we're able to know the route that they took, the speed that they're going, and how long it's gonna take them to get to the final destination. We're also able to see when the truck driver breaks down, the ability for him to communicate to us that he's broken down. The messaging system that's within our system that allows the, the trucker and the farmer or the final facility to chat, to have phone calls, and to interact. This gives the person that's expecting this truck a very clear view of what's really going on. He's able to see all of the trucks and individuals. It's able to time how long that person is broken down and able to give status updates when that person's back on the road. When that trucker gets to the final location to drop off, the geofencing alerts not only the trucker, but also the facility. And the trucker is able to notify the facility that he's on the scale. All of that information is transferred over to the system. There is zero human entry, so the margin for error is minimal. As we move forward, that information is transferred back to the truck and that person's able to offload their load. 
When that truck gets back on the scale in an empty state, everything is processed and the grain is graded and a final certificate is being issued. That certificate is automatically submitted into the trucker's app and that trucker is able to get paid instantly for his trip. When that commodity is graded, that information goes out for consensus on our blockchain. It's accepted and money is transferred. That moment, a farmer gets paid. At that moment, a buyer gets his title. The back office is completely eliminated and we've completed the transaction. We've done now what used to take weeks. It used to take people, manpower, and it used to come with inaccuracies. What we have been able to prove is not only can we do this efficiently, but we can do this in a method that saves everyone time, money, efficiency. It allows people to do business that are thousands of miles away from each other. Grain Chain today is at a point that I can be extremely proud of. Over the last couple of years, we've grown tremendously. What we're doing today is revolutionizing the ag market. What we're doing tomorrow is we're flattening the earth. We're creating a true global market that will allow people to interact, exchange, and trade how it should be done.